cactus and succulent growers, it's Lynn. And today's video has been inspired by my two wonderful friends here on YouTube, Daz at Cacti Mania and Ziggy at Ziggy's Cactus Channel. Now, the other day, Daz did an absolutely awesome unboxing of his gorgeous new, very spiny, beast but beautiful, Chaya Chala. And it was his uh, Cylindro Apuntia Molesta. And then Ziggy also did a video um, on his Cylindro Apuntia, very similar looky likey to Molesta, wanting to know the ID. Now, I wanted to do this video obviously to share with all you guys as well, but also to show you ours that we have not been able to ID. And uh, Daz and Ziggy, hopefully you get to see in this video ours, because I wanted to do a little video to show you ours. And also, is it a molester? And uh, if you didn't see Daz's awesome unboxing of his gorgeous uh, Cylindra Puncture Molester, you must go and watch it. Links to Daz's video will be up above and down below in the video description. And do subscribe to Daz's amazing channel as well, Cacti Mania. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with him already. And also my wonderful friend Ziggy did an awesome video on his gorgeous cylinder upon you as well do check that out and subscribe to ziggy too ziggy's cactus channel links also up above and down below so guys this is ours i'm going to talk a little bit about the history behind this one and this is it here very gorgeous spiny beautiful beast and uh, we also have a smaller one as well which was taken from um, one of the, um, the pads that actually came off when we stuck it in soil and look at it now. Now this was actually my, this is actually my fiance Hans's gorgeous uh, Cylindra Puntia that he's had over 20 years. And it's one that he used to grow when he lived in Sweden. He had it on his windowsill in a south facing window. And when he moved over to, over to Ireland six years ago, he brought it with him as long, as long along with a lot of his other collection and we've never been able to id it when hans got it, it was just down as cylindra puntia obviously one of the the chola varieties very very spiny gorgeous long sort of golden amazing spines and it's one that i'm not kidding you you just you look at it and it, the spines come off very easy and stick to you it's very lethal and if they stick to you that it's always coming off these uh, the segments and we did try and ID it online and Hans said, I think it could be a, a Tunicata or some other similar ones, but not Molesta. Now, when Daz did this video the other day, I think it could have even been yesterday, I called Hans over. We like to watch, watch videos together. And Hans said, that's the one I have. I have that one. That's mine. So I thought, well, is it? It looks very, very similar. And Daz, I'm sure you can see it has the lovely golden, uh, long, very long, lethal spines and I know I shouldn't touch it and uh, pretty sure this is what it is but I wanted to do the video anyway just to show all you guys how awesome and spiny it is and also um, to show Daz and Ziggy our beauty as it's 20 years old and the reason why we have this at the back of the polytunnel is for obvious reasons it just bites you by looking at it it is very sharp and I make sure this space is always free so I can sort of come in without getting bitten by it. We have a lot of other tephros and cylindra punctures in our collection as well, all quite spiny, amazing, amazing varieties, lots of different types there as well. And uh, also all of our more commonly seen punctures here, all at the back. They're amazing plants. I just wanted to share that with you. So Daz and uh, Ziggy, do you think this is a molester? Let me know. Just thought I'd do this little fun video to show you ours. And guys, do you have any um, Cylindra Puntius, Tephro Cacti and other types of uh, very, very lethal spiny cacti? Then do let me know in the, the video comments down below. And thank you, Daz and Ziggy, for your awesome videos. And keep doing what you're doing. You guys are awesome, as, um, as all you cactus growers uh, are as well. Absolutely incredible. So thank you so much for watching everyone for lots more tips and tricks and how you can grow and care for many different types of cacti and succulents. Then don't forget to subscribe. Do click that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips, check out the many growing tips and uh, articles and blogs I have on my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. 
I want to wish you all a prickly, beautiful beast day ahead.